In today's video, we're looking at the key things you should be watching for this week. We're going to cover GME, GameStop stock, and we're also going to give you a free tool that you must use to make better informed trading decisions. Welcome back everyone to Buy, Hold, Sell. I hope of course you are all well. Now, before we get into the details here, this is probably the first week ahead video we have done in a long time. And look at the weather, guys. It's, you can't really see it, but it's stunning. It is a stunning, stunning day. And of all the days to decide to do a look ahead video, I had to do this one today because there is so much coming that I think it's just worthwhile bringing everybody back up to speed with where we are at. So first off, Key dates this week. We have Drone Powell speaking tomorrow. He's going to give us a good update of where the hell everything's sitting. Now, he got COVID-19. Is anybody still testing for that? Crazy. But anyway, COVID-19 last week, and there's maybe a slight doubt that he won't be able to do this call, but of course he will, because at least he'll be able to do it on Zoom. Um, I doubt that he's having massive effects to <clears throat> the old Rony Roan. At the last Fed meeting, US policymakers kept their interest rates the exact same at 5.25 to 5.5 percent. The consensus across the board is that interest rates are going to drop this year. I fully believe that as well. I think there will be some sort of pivot. We've covered the thought process of what happens when the pivot comes. I don't want to be bearish. I don't want to actually get into all that right now. I truly believe that we're going to actually have a decent summer, which we'll touch on later when we're looking at the charts. And we've got some news articles um, to watch out for as well. But this is the, the thing on Thursday, the FOMC meeting minutes. Policymakers kept interest rates unchanged, as I just said. Also highlighted that there's a lack of further progress towards inflation objective and wants to seek for greater confidence before considering. And that's, that's the big thing. Before we even consider rate cuts, that word considering just makes it all so different. This has been echoed by a few of the Fed officials' comments lately, with the high for longer rate outlook likely to be reiterated in the upcoming minutes. That said, the minutes will be slightly backward looking as we've talked about before the likes of shelter the likes of uh, mortgage rates all that that takes time to filter into the system most people are locked in and in america you can lock in for 10 20 30 year huge big mortgages that's the kind of the norm in the uk we kind of get no two week two year or maybe a five year that's about it so it hits the uk a lot harder and uk also have inflation data coming up this this week weaker than expected us job gains for april and further easing in consumer inflation this week may be perceived to offer some leeway for the fed to consider early rate cuts nevertheless clues will be sought from the minutes on the timeline for the fed cuts and policymaker views around the inflation and growth outlook and if we scroll down here fed funds rate you can see here we're pretty much at sort of 30 year highs so keep an eye on that generally if he's hawkish it's going to sink if he's bullish in any way the thing will pump that's kind of been the rule of thumb in the discord i've been putting in all my kind of trades well some of the trades that i've done on on playing this so i usually say guys this is a great opportunity to play with paper money because we don't trade real money and none of this is financial advice of course uh, but i like to try and trade that usually about 7 pm he starts to talk about these things in uk time that is and usually the market decides which way it's going to go i usually jump on it usually works out well tight stop loss have your price target you're you're looking for your exit point straight away now the big one that you probably click the title for is gme gamestop GameStop, um, I got caught up in the whole FOMO that Discord was, was blew up last weekend about this. Alert messages going around last Sunday before the big pump that came on Monday. Problem was for myself, and I'll touch about this later on in the video. A lot of things changing for me personally, a lot of moving parts, a lot of uh, things that are uh, taking a lot of my time, let's say, hence the reason why the channel's kind of been on the back burner. Uh, we've got bigger plans ahead and we're looking forward to implement those things, but right now um, I've not been involved as much as I like to be um, and uh, that I'm aiming to be. So I missed the pump Monday on Tuesday, high risk, knew exactly what I was getting my hands in for. I played the original GameStop pump um, and I jumped in. It was up three, four hundred pounds or something. Things were going reasonably well. Um, then uh, the next day, I couldn't get near my phone, couldn't get near my laptop all day. And then by the end of the day, I, I think everyone knows how it turned out. So I'm holding quite a heavy bag. Um, and I'll be honest, it goes against everything that I would do as a trader. It goes against everything um, that I would um, teach in the, in, in the trading course. It's pure, it's a gamble. It's a kind of being caught up in the whole F you to the system. 
and uh, put simply it's a case of uh, YOLO you only really live once on this and I'm just like whatever it's not big money it's a couple of grand I'm in we'll see what comes but I want to look at the charts now because we can maybe predict where this is going to go here we go this is it on the day chart you can see we have a sell symbol coming in those are in trading course will know that doesn't quite mean a sell yet we would wait for confirmation i.e it fall below the averages we can see the huge sell-offs that we've had the last couple of days towards the end of the week we can see that that has caused us obviously to um cool off a bit which is healthy for the rsi the macd has not yet crossed over and we can see plenty of buying power coming in look at this volume here you could look at it either way and i think that's that's the consensus that i'm hearing the way i'm feeling it could be looked at every way and we'll talk about some sort of fundamentals that will, will could potentially change this on the weekly chart we're struggling to get above the 200 day moving average plenty of volume coming in it looks very very healthy it looks like it could run now if we strip it down closer sell on the four hour chart we're starting to go down to an area where maybe we're oversold and if we strip it down even further we are at that area we are as you can see here looking like we're maybe going to start crossing over we'll strip it down again a buy symbol tried to come on sell symbol is in there we're massively oversold on the r chart and a reversal as you can see on the macd has started now you can't really look at it too much from a technical point of view the main reason being this is a uh, heavily influenced manipulated stock good and bad bearish and bullish it is done by wall street heavily shorting this thing there's a short squeeze potential that's what i'm in for people are saying now oh, game stops a good stock got plenty of cash debt free while those things are all to be true i still wouldn't want to be balls deep in the game stop um, as an investment i'm sorry um people are saying they're selling their own controllers and stuff god almighty how much controllers are you going to have to sell to make this company half decent <laughs> it's not going to happen you're delusional if you think that gamestop is is going to be a great stock but the good thing is if you do have the cojones and the funds to to potentially hold out and you want to play this um short squeeze potentially then it's at least a company that has now like what two billion in, in free funds they did a 45 million share dilution during the week which was you know negative because dilution is dilution more shares go into the market it dilutes you hence we think we're up like 20 percent on the day or 15 percent and then it sold off like 25 so you know we're around about a 40 percent 35 percent swing which is which is crazy with uh, these types of stocks meme stocks you need momentum and we have got roaring kitty posting all the different memes and all the different tweets um what does that mean it feels like something's potentially coming is it the, the amount of effort that goes into those uh shorts and picking the data and changing it this has been orchestrated this isn't something that he just woke up one day and decided just to push a button it's definitely been something that he's been preparing for what does that mean is it manipulation did wall street get to him is it a hedge fund because there's hedge funds that made huge money on this they were almost in before roaring kitty did he know yeah, i could do this catalyst you get in we'll all make money you don't know the ins and outs i trust from the original time the whole meshes and what he was all about that he wouldn't sell himself out because he's made his money so i'm gonna go with that's my feeling he won't sell himself out he's made his money he's he's doing it for the greater good and there is potentially something coming so the only way you can really check this all out um is from volume and if you go to market chameleon this is a free site type it in your tickers whatever you want for the us stocks and it'll give you an idea of volume and volume is what we are looking for if you scroll down here you can see now a lot of people are saying oh the volume's gone it's it's dying out and while it has decreased there's no doubt about it you guys as always like to take a step back and look at these things from a longer point of view so on the day chart volume towards the end of the day crept up it's actually crept up to the start of the day kind of average so that, that that's a good way to finish especially on a weekend sort of people loading up potentially where you thought people would have sold off on the five day chart we can see obviously the price is went downwards the volume while it has went down from the initial pump that came in here no doubt about it craziness and especially craziness around here um this pump definitely took us but i mean we were at that point on on the 17th that's crazy volume now it's sold off with that volume granted but that's that's plenty of interest in it and even where we finished on friday you know we're we're probably above the average price volume that we've had so i don't really fully buy into the volume thing this is a great way of being able to see where the momentum's coming in and if we look at this on the monthly chart you can even see i mean we're considerably higher still than what we ever were 
do I believe the pump's over? I think that potentially this week we will know. If it falls below 18, I think that it was. It was nothing more than your sort of pump and dump thing. The only sort of sidebar, if you want to call it that, is the fact that GME CEO, to his credit, doesn't take a salary. He actually gets paid in commission. Maybe taking that money out allows them to change the company in a certain way. Perhaps, hopefully... Some sort of catalyst there could be good, better beat on the earnings that he's reported. It could be good, good catalyst as well. Bear in mind, this is the worst quarter for GME following the best quarter, Q4. Like most retailers, Christmas period is your best period. So he's going to report probably the worst earnings of the year. If they're better, could be a decent catalyst. And the fact that we have the memes people out there like Roaring Kitty hasn't done a YouTube video yet. He was to do any type of YouTube content, even if it's just putting the memes on YouTube likelihood is this thing will pop it's one of them ones where if you have a proportion of your portfolio that you like to have in risk which i do with my young age uh, i like to have a proportion in risk the african miners and stuff that we're in as well so i'm not afraid to have money um, in risky plays a couple of grand in this seems safe for me it's not it's not money that was ever taken out i'm completely content with it and if anyone is considering doing this they need to uh, if they're you know paper trading of course only paper trading but if they are considering doing this, I would really be careful that you're fully prepared to lose it all or hold for a very long time. But the good thing is you should have no fears that this company is likely to go bust anytime soon with the amount of liquidity. Now we'll just have a quick roundup of the markets. I appreciate this video is going on for a bit longer than I thought. Um, I'll look at two headlines. We have this. The stock market is heading for a disappointing few months. Stocks are more likely to post flat negative returns by the end of the year. Stock prices are already sky high and there's not much that it could propel them forever, they said. I'm not going to read out any more. I'm going to skip to the next article. This one's on Writers. And if you're interested in reading more Writers articles, my two featured articles that I was in Writers back in um, 2021 uh, are both down there. If you want to read about them, we did talk about the meme stuff then, believe it or not. So it was crazy. Wall Street, stock week ahead. Markets, record setting rebound may have further to go. So you have two articles that have come out the exact same day. One says bearish and one says may have further to go. What is the truth? Well, my feeling is I'm looking at the charts and I'm going, this is the S&P on the day chart. It does look like we have reached a point where it probably is due a bit of a cool off, not a huge amount of buy-in coming in around this level. The uh, charts are a bit on the higher end of overbought territory, but there's plenty of volume coming in. And no surprise, the NASDAQ is the exact same, having reached all-time highs. I personally think we're going to get a blow off top. I actually think the market will continue to rally um, throughout the summer period. So it's kind of a mix of what the both articles are saying. I do think it'll run further for now. Um, and I sort of predict maybe like a September time for the real pain to potentially come. Now, this is something that we've been talking on this channel for way too long. Something that I had kind of foreseen happening about nearly a year ago, hard to believe, that the markets would crash and pull back and... Um, we did get obviously that in April and it looked like it was playing out but that wasn't the big crash for me and a lot of people do think that that was the big crash. I'm not entirely sure if that is. I don't think all the things that trickle through the likes of the interest rates and how all that's going to affect the economy. The wars that are breaking out in Israel and obviously in Ukraine as well. There's so many geopolitical sort of issues around the landscape that make things very uncertain but i do actually think the fed pivots and we've done a video on it before where we talk about in history every time they seem to pivot the market seems to sell off so I, i'm watching for that i've got a great video coming we'll definitely talk about that i don't want to be too bearish enjoy the moment we're on i feel like it's going to continue so there is definitely an opportunity there's always an opportunity in every single market and i suppose the last thing i want to talk about is just the channel briefly the channel is just tick it on guys at this stage. I have big plans for July, do the live streams. I wanna get ranking it up. I'm buying new equipment, I'm doing study courses. I'm really trying to level this whole entire thing up. And in the next few months, there's huge big announcements gonna come. Uh, well, I think they're huge big announcements, life-changing announcements um, and from, from my own personal point of view, juggling a lot of different balls, a lot of long nights to get to the point where um, I can really do exactly what I want to do with my life. And that is 
all to come. I can't really say too much more about it, but I'm just saying thanks for tuning into the videos. Please like, subscribe, help me grow the channel. Um, I'm going to do more live streams. We'll, we'll keep dipping in and out. The Discord is there for anyone that's interested in all that good stuff. Over the last week, it was, was great. It really um, nostalgic. It really brought me back to 2020, 2020, 2021 when I did that writer's article. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the video. If you can, leave a comment down below.